Hello, this is Orange Coffee. Today I have a movement guide. You too can have great movement whether you play controller or mouse and keyboard. I will start from zero with the basics for the brand new players and show some easy beginner level moves. Then get two advanced movements which what you usually see in streams or gameplay highlights. And even some niche movement takes for the veterans. The movement mechanics in this game are really simple and easy to learn but look very complicated if you don't know them. To easily understand all the moves, I put up a keyboard overlay and screen, so if you struggle with something, you can slow down the video and watch my inputs. Unless stated otherwise, everything I show is possible on controller. First off, important settings. Make sure sprint, crouch, jump and shoot are all the different keys. That you can press at the same time and independently from each other. The dodge button is not too important. Now the basics. You can walk, sprint, jump, crouch slide, flip and dodge roll. Walking, crouching and sprinting is easy. Sprinting consumes stamina which is shown on the stamina meter. This is a resource you need to manage because once you run out of it you can't do most of the movement anymore and are stuck in place. Jumping also super easy but has some nodes already. There's no air control once you are in the air from a jump so you always want to make sure you go into the correct direction. Jumping does not consume stamina so you can jump forever. Next one sliding. Sprinting then pressing crouch will trigger slide. Don't press crouch too early or you will stand still and crouch in place. Sliding on a flat surface allows for a short slide. Going down a slope or a hill will keep the slide going and give you a lot of speed. There's a lot of tiny bumps in terrain that you should always slide on whenever you can. Because it's the fastest movement on land. Sliding does not consume stamina. It only does if you keep holding the sprint button. Pressing jump while sliding performs a front flip. A flip gives you more distance than a regular jump. And you become a bit harder to hit because you're smaller in the air. This is one of the most important actions for combat, but I will go into detail on this later. And lastly the dodge roll. On activation you do a roll into the input direction. Apparently this move has invincibility frames, but I could not find anything on that, so I'm just gonna ignore that. Dodge rolling uses half of your stamina and is the same distance like a flip, which is why you want to almost never use it. So here's some beginner level moves. First off two for going around the map. Slide jumping. You run, slide, then jump and then rinse and repeat. This is the most stamina efficient way to get across the map and you should always use it when going large distances. Second one, sprint bunny hopping. Sprint and then spam jumps. This is faster than sprint sliding but uses more stamina. Very useful for short distances when chasing or escaping in a p-fight. Also very nice for going up hills. Dump down combat is deal damage, don't get hit. Use your movement to become harder to hit, get to cover and most importantly stay alive. Moving in an unpredictable pattern to be difficult to track and harder to hit is the basic idea for all close range combat. First and easiest strafing. Strafing is basically walking to make your opponent miss. This is the base and glue for all the moves. Simply going left and right will make a lot of people miss you already. Another easy one, bunny hopping. You move in different directions and jump like a bunny. This makes you harder to hit and is super easy to do. It's very useful for close range shotgun finds, but it's also just generally useful if you want to dodge bullets. Next one, running or moving in a zigzag pattern. This is very useful for engaging or running away from a fight. Should be paired with bunny hopping or slide jumping, but normal sprinting also works a lot of the time. Using cover and breaking line of sight. This is not really movement related, but I see so many players doing crazy fancy movement and then just get deleted because they're jumping around in the open in front of three people. Good movement makes you harder to hit, but the wall between you and your opponent makes you impossible to hit. This is the single most important tip in the video. Stop standing in the open like a target dummy. Now the advanced mechanics. Sliding can be redirected with movement inputs and camera inputs. Slides must be started straight or diagonal forward but are easy to redirect sidewards or even backwards. If you struggle with redirecting slides with the movement keys, you can just redirect them with a the camera movement or both, but just using the camera is way slower. A flip always follows the direction you are sliding. So if you slide sideways, you flip sideways. If you slide backwards, you flip backwards. Sliding and jumping can be input pretty quickly. This is how side flips are done. Start sliding forward, redirect, you slide to the side by releasing W and pressing A or D, then jump. On controller, smoothly turn your stick from straight to side. This can be input almost instantly to look like this. This is the most difficult to hit and track movement option and can be chained and combined with other moves. 
So one really easy technique is flipping in a circle or triangle around an enemy. This can be done with sideways flips or by turning with a slide and flipping forwards. This is pretty much all the movement options in the game and now it's about stringing them together and figuring out what are you good at and what works for you personally. The rest of the video is about movement related mechanics and some movement tech. There's a lot of good gameplay out there but I recommend you to experiment on your own. Something important for movement focused playstyle is conserving your momentum. This is done by turning smoothly and avoiding harsh movements. If I do a quick 90 degree turn, my momentum is lost. If I do it smoothly, my momentum is kept. Same thing goes for flips. If I turn smoothly, it's fine. If I turn harshly, I just stand in place. This is also why so many people play Boombox. It gives you a haste buff and infinite stamina for the activation duration, making this task way, way easier. Optimizing hip fire spread. If you move or jump, your weapon spread is increased. This can be decreased by crouching or sliding, or aiming down sides of course. Shotgun spread is the same whether you aim down sides or not, so there's no need to aim with a shot. You want to optimize your shot timing to be a small spread if possible. So for example, if you're jumping around, try to shoot while you're on the ground or during a slide. You can also ADS during airtime in a jump and keep your momentum after. Next mechanic, bullet slow. If you get hit by a bullet, it will slow you down a bit. Keep this in mind while trying to do movement. Sometimes you get slowed down too much to perform a certain action. This is really important for surfing for example. If you get shot by three people while surfing, you get rooted in place and die. Now the right hand peak advantage. The crosshair is over your right shoulder. Meaning it's easier to hit targets on the right side of you. This also means it's harder to hit someone on your left because you need to make bigger camera movements. If you want to make someone miss, work circles around their left side. But keep in mind you will have to make huge camera movements to hit them as well. This also applies when approaching or pushing over distance. But remember during ADS you can swap shoulder, during hip fire you can't. Now some movement tech. These are either very niche use cases or unintended game behavior. First one. Falling a large distance will trigger a fall stun animation once underground. This can be cancelled in multiple ways. One way is to melee straight before going off the edge. Make sure to melee at the correct time or it won't work. Melee in the air and you just get a different landing animation. Done too early, nothing happens. Activating the surfboard right after jumping will also cancel this fall animation. You can get a tiny bit of air control too with your surfboard, but this is mostly useless and just looks flashy. Getting off the surfboard will give you a big directable jump. Shooting on the surfboard while on land also triggers this. This is also mostly useless but can be useful while fighting near water. Keeping momentum on waterfalls. Normally after pole jumping up a waterfall your momentum is slowed down a lot and you start very slow again. Pressing surfboard right before reaching the next level, so briefly sprint, then instantly activating surfboard again lets you keep your momentum. To my knowledge it's not possible to activate surfboard manually on controller, so this is mostly keyboard exclusive for now. The keybind will hopefully get added soon on controller. This is everything I have. I hope this video was helpful. If you have questions or more movement tips, please leave them in the comments or chat with me on Twitch. Keep in mind, you don't have to play like this and there's plenty of good viable playstyles and you should focus on having fun in the game. But it's really helpful to at least understand what is happening. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.